Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. That was super sweet of you. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is one of my rare intros where I do not have my eyebrows done, but that is because today's video is super exciting. It is a video where I will be reviewing the Ardell Brow Tint. Have you guys heard of this? I'm sure you've heard of brow tinting before. It's very popular. It's kind of like a cheaper and easier alternative to microblading and it's not as precise as microblading. It just kind of dyes your eyebrows temporarily. But this one from Ardell was only $14.99. I say only, that still felt like a lot of money for me. It says it has 12 uses in it though and supposedly they last up to two weeks. With my oil cleansing routine, I don't know if I would get two weeks out of it. Look at me making wild assumptions and I haven't even tried it yet. I got the color soft black and my eyebrows are fully cleansed. They said you need to have no makeup on your eyebrows. I cleansed them with soap and water. Cleanser and water, of course. We don't put soap on our face unless it's soap brows. So I guess we do put soap on our brows. Wow, I'm really going off on a tangent here. You don't want to hear me talk anymore. You just want to see me apply these, don't you? So if you want to see me apply this Ardell brow tint, then I encourage you to please subscribe and keep on watching because it's coming at you, right? now. Okay, so I did open this a little earlier just because I wanted to make sure I had all the materials that I needed and wow, I was surprised by what's inside. I have the conditioning brow developer. Developer? Like dyeing your hair? Yes, you are thinking exactly right. That is the exact kind of developer this is, which I guess makes sense because I'm kind of dyeing my brows. Tinting my brows? Wow, this is also very new to me. And then the brow tint itself is a powder. Would you have expected this? I did not expect this. I don't know, maybe I'm just very naive. I've never dyed my hair before, so I guess I don't know nothing about nothing. But I was surprised to see these two things in here. I don't know why in my head I was like, it's gonna be strips and I'll just put them over my eyebrows. It'll be really easy. But it seems like it is a bit more complicated than that. So then I also have this little bag of tools here. I have a spatula to mix my developer and powder together. I have a spoolie here to apply it to my brows. And I have a little mixing dish here. So I really feel like I'm performing a science experiment here and yet I'm already having so much fun, wow. Never left science in school, but if it's makeup science, sign me up. Let's read the directions together, shall we? I'll try to read them in a really exciting voice so they sound more fun. Okay, so big disclaimer here. They say that you should perform an allergy test 24 hours prior to trying this. I did not do that. I did not do that. But I acknowledge that it was encouraged and I acknowledge that there are risks to me not doing an allergy test, but I did read all of the ingredients on what's in both the developer and the tint and I was pretty familiar with most of them, so I feel like it's gonna be fine. And if it starts to burn, I'm just gonna wipe it right off. So I do not recommend not doing the allergy test before. If you want to try this, you have to do the allergy test. Please do the allergy test, but I'm not gonna do the allergy test. Do as I say, not as I do. Moving on from that first step. Preparation, prepare brows by washing with soap and water. Dry thoroughly. Done. Mixing. Squeeze a pea-sized amount of the conditioning developer into the plastic tray. Shake the tint bottle three to four times into the developer and use the plastic spatula to thoroughly mix the tint until it is at a smooth consistency. Apply the mixture generously to one brow at a time using the small brush provided for a precise application. Be sure to apply the mixture in the shape of your desired brow and to clean up the edges to avoid accidental staining of the skin. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna get some Q-tips before I start, that way I can clean off the excess. Processing, set a timer for 10 minutes after application is completed. Once the processing time is complete, remove the color from the brow area with a damp towel, allow eyebrows to dry thoroughly to see color results. And then they say, if it's not as dark as you want, you can apply more brow tint and do it for three to five minutes and then discard your materials. That's a big thing they say, don't save the extra. So you probably will have more than you actually need, but they say you shouldn't save it. I don't know why, but they say you shouldn't save it. So I don't recommend saving it. Let me get my Q-tips and then we'll get right down to business. All right, so per the instructions, I'm going to squeeze a pea-sized amount of this developer into my little cute little plastic Petri dish looking thing. There's a little aluminum cover here. You're gonna wanna pull that off. That's a hot tip for me to you. Okay, now I'm gonna squeeze a pea-sized amount into... Oh, did you see that? It started leaking immediately. Oh, should I shake it up? I've never used developer before. I didn't think... Oh, I will not lie to you, viewer. I am losing it over here. Wow, this is very liquidy. Oh my gosh, a pea-sized amount. How am I gonna measure a pea-sized amount? I'm sorry if this isn't totally in focus. 
Okay, is that a P? Maybe a little more. Oh, okay, I'm sorry you can't see it great. It's very liquidy and I'm trying to not spill it, but I assure you there is a pea-sized amount in here. Okay, now they said three to four shakes of the color. I'm gonna go with four shakes because I want it to be dark. Shake sounds like such a reckless method of measurement that I trust the fine folks at Ardell. One, two, three, four. That did not feel good. That felt like, I don't know, that didn't feel like the right amount. Ooh, I guess it looks gray. I told you already I got the color soft black. It's looking very gray in here, but let's mix it up. Oh, you guys, this looks freaking weird. It does not look like soft black at all. I guess maybe it's gonna turn black on my eyebrows. I don't know, I thought it would look more black in here. Uh, maybe like a half a shake, because I don't think all my shakes were the same size. Okay. Okay, it's thoroughly mixed. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my brush, AKA my little spoolie they gave me, and I'm gonna apply it to my brows. It's kind of hard to fully saturate the spoolie. I'm, it's really only getting on the tip of the spoolie, but that's fine, we'll make it work. Okay, let me go into my brows here. Oh, sludgy. Oh, this looks weird. Okay, this looks weird my eyebrow just looks wet <laughs> i thought it would look weirder i don't know why i was just like picturing it. i've seen people tint their brows professionally before and it always looks like really really dark and then they wipe it away and it's fine but this doesn't look really really dark on my brows it just looks kind of like like a taupey gray okay there is a lot on there let me go in with my q-tips to wipe away the excess here Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about my application. Now what I'm gonna do is set a timer for 10 minutes. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes, please. Your timer is set for 10 minutes. Okay, Siri's, Siri's got the lowdown on the timer and I'm gonna come back in 10 minutes and we will hopefully have darker eyebrows. I don't know, you guys, I'm feeling kinda right now. I don't know if this is really gonna work. I hope I didn't waste $15 for nothing, but uh, we shall see. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. All right, my timer just went off. You can tell they definitely got darker as time went on. Like when I first put them on, they looked pretty light, um, but they definitely got darker as time went on. So I have my damp towel. I'm gonna dry these off, but they did say to wait for them to fully dry before you see the true color. So I'm gonna have to wipe them off, then let them dry, then show you the results. So let's wipe these babies off here. They did get a little tingly, but it was nothing like painful at all. I don't have any soap on this, by the way. This is just wet. Oh. Look at that dark brow, wow. Wow, I'm so impressed so far. I know they have to like fully dry, but okay. They're dry, I said fully dry. It takes two seconds for eyebrows to dry. Wow, these look really good. Shall I insert a clip from the beginning of the video so you can see before and after? Who is she? I don't know. She and I have never met before. My eyebrows are much darker than hers. Wow, you don't even know what's coming for you. You don't even know what's about to happen here. Sorry for bullying my past self, you guys. She has good eyebrows too. We both have good eyebrows. Um, But this looks really good. I definitely don't think I need to go in with a second layer. I think this is a perfect color match. My mom agreed. I asked her opinion downstairs. My mom is a former hairdresser, in case you guys missed that video where she helped me cut my boyfriend's hair. Check it out right now. But my mom is a former hairdresser and I was talking to her about the developer and everything. And she said the color will only get darker as the developer is on. Once I wipe it off, it's not gonna change at all. So the should be our final color and I have to say I really like it like I think I would still want to fill in the front of my brow to make it look a little fuller but there were no hairs there for me to get the developer on and it says that I get 12 uses out of this which would be great if true big if true I definitely believe it's true because I barely had to use any of this developer and I barely had to use any of this powder I feel like I could get more than 12 uses out of it don't quote me on that though. But if I do get 12 uses out of it and the product was $14.99, $14.99 divided by 12 equals per use. That's a pretty good deal, isn't it? I will definitely keep this description box updated as this wears on to let you guys know how long it takes to fade. But if this stays in for even a week, I will be super happy because this looks really good. Look at me, a satisfied customer. Thank you, Ardell. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. I love all my subscribers. You're all so sweet. You're all so kind. I love when you leave me comments. I promise to always answer your comments and I make lots of goofy fun videos and I just 
so happy to have you. Also, be sure to check out the description box. I have a ton of Black Lives Matter resources down there for you. Keep staying informed, keep donating, keep signing petitions, protest if you can, donate resources. There's so much that you can still do. And don't let this be a trend. Let it continue to be a movement. And I hope you guys keep participating in it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.